Rivers, uh, Farm Boy Reef here. So, uh, welcome back for another episode of uh, Coral Fridays, where I go to my local fish store and I try to find uh, a new coral every Friday, new little treasure, see what we got. So today I got two corals and a different shrimp I'm going to show you guys. Um, so my first coral that I have here, I can't show you guys, is I actually just coral dipped them. Um, the first one is a highlighter uh, SPS coral, Acapora. Um, it's a fast-growing uh, SPS. Uh, this one here is actually encrusted the whole uh, plug. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a minute. I'll just take it in for a second here. Um, so th this one here, it in actually encrusted all over the plug. Well, I chose this one because of that. That means it was a good frag, and the frag took on uh, really well, and it encrusted the plug. That means it'll do really well in my tank. So uh, this is a highlighter, uh, SPS uh, coral. It's got the green, and then sometimes in different lights, it can have green to a little bit of a, like a, a pinkish color to it. And then over in the other one here, I got a Monopora Capricornis. Um, this one here, it's it's a uh, it's got yellow and orange in it. It's I haven't had this kind before. It's gonna be really awesome in the tank. So these are the two corals I got tonight. And uh, the other the other one thing I got tonight is if you guys can see him right here. You see this little guy? He's a Harlem shrimp. And what he does, he eats uh, pest uh, little starfish in your tank. Um, if you ever see them, little starfish, they're always on the glass and stuff. You always see them like they're missing a leg. Um, what those starfish sometimes, what they'll do is they'll they'll start to eat your corals, certain kinds. There is good ones and there's bad ones. There's white ones, and what they do, those uh, little starfish, they like to get around your hammer corals and slowly like eat the flesh around them. Um, it's not like maybe they don't mean to do it, but they do. Like I don't like seeing them in my tank. So one way of doing it is getting a Harlem shrimp, and he loves to eat them. As long as there's a supply of little a little starfish in there, he'll survive. So I only got one, so. I, I'm gonna put him in my tank, my 220 gallon. This way he'll always have abundance of little starfish to do because I've noticed I've seen quite a few more. And then when you see a starfish with the leg, uh, missing a leg, that means it's segmented and it's gonna start creating another little starfish. So these are the three uh, three corals and a little shrimp I got today. So I got my SPS uh, highlighter coral, Acapora, fast growing. It encrusted the plug really well. So that's why I chose this one. And then I got my Monopora Capricornus here. It's an orange and yellow. It looks, it's gonna look really sweet. Um, it grows really fast as well and I want to keep it in an area because it's it's gonna grow out and it'll take up a lot of room and shade other corals so I gotta make sure I place that in the right spot so I'm gonna take these uh, corals upstairs I'm right down in the lab right now so I'm gonna take these two corals upstairs and I'm gonna place them I'll show you where I place them and why and then I'm gonna do another episode just on the shrimp because oh there's quite a bit of information I'd like to talk with the shrimp for you guys about for the little uh, Harlem shrimp here I got him and we're gonna feed him actually I went and I, I I went and I scooped out a few of those, those little uh, nuisance starfish in there. You guys can see them, I don't know. But uh, we'll feed him, show you what he does to them, and then place him in the tank because he's, he's, he's going to be picky where he wants to go. Like he's going to hang out in a certain area where he likes to be. He's very, he's, you know, he's fearless. He doesn't care who you are or what you are. And he'll take over his little spot and feed on his, feed on his starfish. So these are the corals. So let's head upstairs. I'm going to mount these corals and show you where I mounted them. And so I made it up here upstairs to the, the 220 gallon display tank. So tonight for these frags, um, I'm going to use the Aquascape uh, epoxy for uh, this application. Um, the one has a flat plug on it and the other one has a normal plug. Um, where I'm going to put them in certain areas, I can mold it right into the rock work, into the aquascaping, make it look good. And this stuff really good because it, it looks just like uh, coralline algae. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mount those and then so I got my putties here So we're each what we're gonna do with our putties. We're gonna grab me Half an inch on this one on the green half an inch on the purple So we're gonna mix these together until they're all one color of purple So what I think I'm gonna do for the for the SPS uh, Acapora the highlighter one It's encrusting right down the plug. So what I want to do is I want to get all around put this right on the SP, SPS coral like right to where the encrusting is happening so when we so when the when you put the plug in when it starts to encrust it's going to grow right over this and it'll grow a lot faster for something to attach to it'll make it a lot easier for the for the coral to grow on so we just keep mixing that up so you see that it's like now it's like a it's a purple just like coralline algae so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mount so I've got the highlighter uh, SPS Acapora coral mounted right now I just I put it right there just above the big giant clam um, so we're going to move on to the Monopora Capricornus. So it, it's a, like a disking plate. It's going to take up a lot of area. So you want to put an area where you don't have many corals because it's going to shadow. So I'm going to put it on my right side of my tank here because I don't have very many corals going on there right now. So it's a good spot for it to grow. And then as it keeps growing, I can frag it out. In another episode, I'm going to do a frag for you guys, show you different frag, fragging methods and stuff. 
So I'm just, I took off another couple three quarters of the pink and green uh, epoxy. It looks like the Coraline algae. So it's a flat, uh, flat plug on this one. So I'm going to mount it into the rock, mold it in to blend it in. And then I'll show you guys after I'm all done mounting all these things, how it all looks and where and why I put it there. So that's all ready to go. You can see the color of it there now. So give me a second here. I'm gonna get this all, right, all guys, mounted. So I got both corals mounted right now. I got the, the highlighter SPS Acapora mounted just above the, the big giant clam. And then on the right side of my tank, I have the, the Monopora Capricornus mounted on the right side where there's lots of room and it's lots, it's really bright there because it really like a lot of light. So I'm gonna take you guys for a little tour where they're all mounted up and show right, you guys. So here's the SPS uh, highlighter Acapora. So I got it all mounted up. You can see where the epoxy is on the bottom of the plug. Um, I chose this coral when I was at the local fish store. I can see how well it was doing because the frag actually grew right over the plug. So I can tell it's really healthy and that cor it doesn't mind being fragged, that coral. So I made sure the epoxy went up just a little bit to the plug so it'll grow over top of the epoxy. And I find when you, when you bring the epoxy right up close to it, it takes off a lot faster. It, it likes to grow on top of that stuff for some reason. So that's the SPS uh, Capora highlighter. You can see how really green it is. Let's see if I can get in with the camera here. See, it's really highlighter green. It's a fast growing uh, coral as well. So let's move on Here's to the, the next coral. One. This is a Monopora Capricornus. Um, this one's green and a little bit of orange in it. Um, so you can see where I added it to the rock. So I put it up against the rock so it can start to encrust onto the rock. Plus I put the epoxy as close as I could to the coral itself. So it'll crust over top of the epoxy. It works. I find it works really fast. It grows faster than the epoxy that the, does the rock. So that's the that's the money right there. I don't have this color yet. I, I have the I have the green and I have the orange and red. So yeah, it's it's looking pretty good. It's pretty hot color. I really like this one. So these are the two corals I got for the Coral Frag Fridays, guys. So I hope you like them. Pretty neat, eh? Yeah, okay, and the, why I chose this area? Because there's lots of light and lots of flow. And for the highlighter, there's lots of flow and there's lots of light as well. From uh, last Friday, doing really well, the SPS. I'm getting some new growth. If you look at the bottom there, I'm getting some new growth uh, on the polyps there. You can see right down near the base, it's really starting to branch out. And it's growing really fast. This is a growing fast uh, SPS as well. So those are the treasures I found for uh, Coral Friday today with uh, Farm by Reef. I hope you really uh, you really like this episode. Um, so next Friday, you never know what I'm going to find. How you're pretty excited. So every Friday, I'm going to have new corals and tell you all about them and where to place them. So that was the corals. I got an SPS highlighter coral today, Acapora, and then I got the, the Monopora Capricornus. It's pretty sweet coral as well. Can't wait for them to both grow up so I can start fragging them and uh, giving them my friends and stuff. So that's this week's episode. I hope you guys really liked it. Um, please subscribe, hit the like button, uh, leave your comments. I like when you guys leave your comments. I like chatting with you guys, getting all the information, you know, like Willie D and Pines and Erica and Sean's Reef and James out there. Okay, so I hope you guys like this episode, guys. So see you guys next Friday. Thanks, bye.